Alright guys, it's Chris from Cartridge Blast Gamers and this is Space Engineers. We are about to fly out and get away from this godforsaken planet. As long as everybody is in a seat, we will go. Alright, I'm in Go. Go! Okay. Alright. Here we go, we're going. In three, two, one, goodbye. Good 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 god, what the crap is happening now? We well, have we, our fuel reserves are slowly draining. All so Tom Hanks. So it's not like we're completely boned here. No, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. What Nothing happened? is working. It, it's that same problem as we had before where I can't fly. Mm. Is, it, is, it, is it because John's in the other cockpit? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Even though my thing says it's, this is not a main cockpit. Here, let me try standing up and see what happens. I too am standing up. See if you oh, can fly shit. now. Oh shit. Alright. We're flying. Alright. That was the problem. Can I sit down again or is that a no? Um I don't know why you I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Anyway. Are you still able to fly? Because um, if you're still able to fly, I think the chairs are fine. I'm flying. Okay. John, if you can find the passenger seat out in the hall, try one of those. <laughs> fine. I'll leave you guys to it. Close the door. <laughs> yeah, the stupid doors. You All getting right. in a seat? Hold on. Yes, I'm in a seat. All right. Good. I'm beginning our the the program. All right. We're pitching up. Hooray! Yeah, you could probably just go straight to. We can't. Well, yeah, to the moon. Oh shit! Something just happened. What happened? I don't know. My screen froze. I can hear all kinds of crazy noises happening. Hydrogen reserves at 72%. Okay. There we 69%. Keep reading out. I'll just give you a warning every five. It'll be good. Goodbye, planet. 65%. Are we making progress? I can't see shit from here. Altitude yes. is climbing. We are at 48,000 or 4,800 meters. 5,000 meters. 60% on the hydrogen. Changing inclination. Fifty-five percent. Man, I Rabbit. hope this doesn't use realistic orbital mechanics like Kerbal. If so, we are wasting so much fuel. We're boned. <laughs> Fifty percent. Planet gravitation reading at eight point eight five, eight four, and dropping. Very good. Eight point. 45%. John, do you have a read on um, um, our altitude? We are exactly 9,000 in climbing. Okay, you read off altitude every 1,000 meters. 40%. Okay. I have a job. And 10,000. Fuel reserves? Actually climbing somehow? Yep, uh, cut the engines, we're drifting. Increasing speed. Oh, okay. Oh, now they're going down again. Yeah, I expected. Okay. We are at... 11,000. 35%. Okay, increasing inclination. Fuel reserves at 30%. 13,000. Okay, cutting engines for a reboot. Let's 
slowly recovering. Actually, it comes back reasonably quick. We're back up at 30 now. Keeping 14,500. Gravitation is dropping. 41. Fifteen thousand. We're at forty G's of planet gravity. Forty G's. I hope not. No, we'd be dead. <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be so freaking dead. <laughs> like smeared on the walls, dead. <laughs> Wuss. <laughs> planet gravitation is dropping. Point three eight. Hydrogen levels holding around thirty-two percent. Sixteen thousand. Five going through the water. Three come out. Shark take the rest. Rob, can you see planetary Terry, gravity uh, on your HUD? I don't believe so. No. But John, can, oh wait, yes, can I you? can. Yeah, uh, Thirty point three five G's. Okay, read them off to me as we go. Oh, uh, you want that or the hydrogen? I want both. Okay. Expecting me to watch a million numbers at once. What are you crazy? 30, uh, 0.33 G, almost back up to 35% fuel. Are we still getting lift or are we stuck? No, we're lifting. Look at the other antenna behind us. Yep. Actually, I think the hydrogen's coming back faster than we're spending it now. Yep. 20,000. That should be about right. Uh, 0.26 G's. 0.25 G's. Okay. 21,000. Beginning the roll program. Okay. Fuel reserves holding at uh, 39. This is roll program. But he's chain. He's turning the ship. Well, doing a barrel roll rather. Should I say? Fuel at 40. Gravity at 0.22. Oh hey, I can actually see a uh, planet from here now. It's like we're pretty high up or something. Yeah, we're up there. 23,000. 0.2 G. Oh, I see the uh, curvature of the uh, atmosphere there. Yep. Planet's taking up most of my window now. Uh, fuel at 42%. I'm not doing it every five anymore, I'm just saying it whenever I start feeling useless. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Perfectly fine. You can you can make the checks out to Rob. Or cash, you take cash. Hmm. Planetronic gravity, 0.17 G still moving at a nominal 100 meters per second. Okay. Just above 25,500. Okay. Beginning... Uh, fuel at 45. Beginning course correction. Is it pulling this extra fuel from the, the hydrogen tanks on the ship? No, it's pulling it from the uh, water. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. That uh, extra, oh, he's thirsty. The extra ice that we put in. Setting, oh man. Set, Pretty nice view of the planet from here. Setting a course for the moon. 0.15 G's. Still dropping. 
fuel's almost back up to like 49. Oh, I guess that way's space, and that way's the planet. Speed is looking good. Uh, looks like we lost the door on our dropship, though. That's unfortunate. Eh, we could fix it. 27,000 meters. Fuel reserves at 51%, gravity at 0.15. Speed is increasing. You're going faster than 100 meters per second there. Nice. I think that means we were winning. Rob, how does the solar panel uh, energy look? Uh, oh, now we actually have some. Yep. 181.9 kilowatts. Perfect. Which is absolutely minuscule compared to the rest of the power needs of the ship. <laughs> Glad to see... Actually, no, I take that back. It's not that bad. The reactors are actually only putting out, like, a half a megawatt. We're fine. Yeah. So I guess the solars are like 30% of our power. We have fuel time for 59 days of that. Of that. Yeah, I think we're probably okay. Uh, hydrogen tanks are up to 58%. Gravity's back to 0.16, which is odd. That's because we did our course mm. correction. Oh, okay. So we dropped a little bit? Yeah. But it's not gonna, right. it's not gonna affect us whatsoever. We're moving very quickly. Okay. We'll be hovering in the 0.6 G range for a little while. We're probably oh, do we, we're probably gonna. When do we hit? Hmm. We're dropping in meters. Yeah, we back. We will be dropping probably to about 20, uh, 4,000. Okay. When do we hit the uh, button that commences the planetary bombardment? <laughs> we didn't make it in this ship. What? What did we waste all that time on, then? Shenanigans? Glitches. Probably glitches. Glitches get stitches. Fuel reserves at 62, gravity at 0.17. Do you even care anymore? <laughs> I care. Oh, I think that's the altimeter. Okay. We're going over the desert now. I always hated that desert. I think I crashed in it when we first started. I wish I could turn around more than 180 degrees. Or uh, more than 90 degrees, rather. Alright, fuel level at 55. Gravity at 0.16. Glitchiness level falling. We must be getting away from the planet. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I keep half expecting the words universal to come around the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you guys sitting in the uh, command center there. These are the big people chairs. Actually, I think his is the big people chair. Mine's the computer nerd chair. You have a very important job, Rob. Because uh, un is it to make fun? Is it to make fun of the ship as we fly out of orbit? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sixty percent hydrogen. 0.15 g. Yeah, we should be getting away from the influence of the planet. It takes a long time to get out of space, huh? Yeah, because it's... Well, let's face it, this is 1,016,782 freaking tons of shit that we're bringing into space. You know you're doing good when you have to measure your tons in millions. 65% hydrogen... 0.14 gravity. Yeah, our altitude still should be climbing slowly because we're riding the Coriolis. But our speed will be maintained. I like how the fuel time went up. That's because the solar panels are doing their job. 
Chris, I'm taking a break from monitoring for a second uh-huh. to get an amazing screenshot of the cockpit. Very well. Acceptable. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll send it to you later. You can, I don't know, stick it on the video or something. I got some pretty amazing shots happening right now. Yeah. All right. Hydrogen tanks at 73. Gravity at 0.13. I like that you can see the atmosphere of the planet when you're this far away from it. Right? <laughs> I don't like that our grass, that our glass is uh, cracked and scratched or whatever. I personally hated that update when they made glass not clear. Yeah. It was dumb. Like, a little bit of texture would have been one thing, but it's like smudges everywhere. Yeah, it's like we don't clean the damn thing. Wait, we're supposed to clean it? <laughs> I thought we had, like, robot drones for that shit. Fail. Hydrogen at 77, gravity at 0.12. <laughs> Our situation's actually improving as we get further and further away. I think it really just goes to show the planets are bullshit. I hope moons are less bullshit. Um, eh. Well, they got not getting, my, not getting my hopes up on that one. They've got platinum. All that planet and nothing on it. Why are you putting stuff on the HUD? I don't know, it's fun. Oh, are you changing colors and stuff? I would never do that. Yeah, so I noticed all the pinkish purple lights <laughs> on the <gym> chair <laughs> as we took off. <laughs> it needed to be done. They look festive. <laughs> Commander Rob, stop messing with the shit. Can't help it. In this part. Ensign John, behave yourself. I keep seeing that little window smudge and thinking it's a little, like, moonoid over the planet, but it's not. I don't know if moonoid is a word, but it is now. Moonoid? Yeah, you know. It's satellite, so diet moon. I'm a moonoid at you. Eh, what else is new? If you weren't, it means I'm not doing my job. So what vehicles did we take with us? The ones that we built. And that didn't die. Uh, hydrogen's at 92. Gravity's at point one. I think we're fine. We took with us, uh, apparently, the... Party Wagagon Mark One and the Minamajig, which I don't remember what we named it. The Minamajig. Look at that view. The uh, the red and gold bullshit. That is a pretty good view, and I'm gonna lie. Let's go to the sun instead. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this game, you'd never get there. Because <laughs> it's part, oh, okay. part of the skybox. At 48. How much ice did we bring in the first place? Do you remember? Quite a bit. 97k. Okay. Well, we've used about half of it. Well, I figure once we get away from the planet, I don't have to use a lot. Okay. We're almost, almost there. Maybe it's, Gravity at 0.06. Maybe it's 45. I don't know. Let you know in a minute. You're right about the lag thing. As soon as we left the freaking lag box over there. You mean planet? Yeah. Same thing. There we go. Welcome to space. No gravity. Things are flying at us. Particles. All right, making corrections. Love particle. Changing direction for the moon.
Man, I should probably take my body location off of my uh, HUD, huh? Yeah, it's probably, probably not, not that useful. useful. Looking for bodies? Oh, I could put where Chris broke the ship back on there. Okay, congratulations, gentlemen. You are now free to move about the cabin. Let's make sure your nurse. I was always free. Let's make sure your ah, nurse ah, dampeners ah. are off. Because if they're not, you're going to hit the wall at 100 meters per second. Oh, it'll That's be great. What are you talking about? You only do that once in your life. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, God. That's the only... This was a... That was a terrible choice. I'm getting back in the chair. <laughs> Is it difficult to navigate? You... Yeah. It's... You pretty much have to have your jetpack on. Or you just kind of Jesus around the room and skid into the walls. <laughs> well, yeah. You have to go around the jetpack on. Okay, I'm locking the gyroscope. I forgot we don't have a gravity generator. No, well, we didn't have the means to make one. Yeah. Oh, we're almost far enough away that I can fit the entire planet on the screen. So leaving the seat was a bad idea, you said? It was terrible. Don't do it. All right. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Wait, you're driving. No, I'm not. Oh yeah, I yeah, am, but that's that's okay. <laughs> Good thing we're pointing at that Watch, big, large thing. He's trying desperately to get back in the chair as the ship crashes and everyone explodes in a giant fireball that kills everyone on Earth. It's not true. Look at him I'm going around. I want to take a look. Uh -oh. I want to take a look at uh, what's going on back here. You almost lagged out there, sir. Me? Yeah. I see you. When you open the door. Ah, I'm sorry. Where are you? I just... I'm going into the observatory window area where I, uh... I just wanted to come over here and take a look at some stuff and things. It looks great. You just gotta... Hey. You gotta feather the, uh, throttle. That's all, Rob. It's, it's not too bad to go around while you're moving. Yeah, I'm gonna it's, sit in my um, chair and enjoy it was special. the view. I'll say that much. Looks like every everything looks pretty good, man. I got a bunch of screenshots of the cockpit. I wouldn't do this in third person though. That was difficult. Holy shit! <laughs> and I, well, I got a picture of you Jesusing around, trying to get back in the door. Am I Jesusing? A little bit. That's awesome. You're kind of, actually your arms and legs are kind of ragdolling more than Jesusing. Yeah. It's, I'm not trying to get in the cockpit. I'm just kind of like, you know, hanging out in here. I could stay kind of still. So how far away from that moon are we? Do we have a distance reading? No, we don't. Oh, okay. I just put the object in the thing. Don't run into me too fast, though, because we will hurt each other. It will Was. <laughs> Was. Was back in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the mass of our ship went down. Rob, sit in the chair. Oh yeah. Yep, went up. <laughs> nice. You weigh a lot. Well, you know, I did have kind of a big breakfast. Goodbye, Planet Jankington. Actually, where are we going to name that planet? Planet Hellhole. Planet Jankery? Okay. Uh, we are at about 25% ice. 25% or kilograms? Uh, both. Since you brought 96. Okay. Jeez, that means we use 75% of uh, our reserves just to get the hell out of Dodge. Worth it. Just means we gotta find some ice somewhere. How hard can it be? Aw, oh, man. What did you guys do? It froze. Nothing. Yes, everything seems fine from here. Who flushed the toilet? 
Oh, you hear the uh, oxygen generator making hydrogen. <laughs> it was Chewbacca. That's why it's so terrible. Nobody Maybe. wants to smell Wookie ass on a long on a long space flight. <laughs> he makes the same noise with his mouth as he does his anus. You guys are terrible. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. These guys are I'm terrible. Not. I regret nothing. I like how we're flying in space with these giant windows and our helmets are off. Like it's like we don't care if something is speeding at us at ridiculous uh, speeds. What are you a wuss? No, no, not at all. That's why I'm not wearing a helmet. I was say, I didn't build these damn windows out of bulletproof glass for people to be wusses about it. <laughs> all right, by my calculations, we're heading right for it. And by calculations, you mean. I, you look at the screen. I put it right in the window and pointed at it. That's what's good about that antenna. It's like your your thing longer. It points right at where you want to go. Actually, yeah, we should skim the surface of it, judging by the thing longer. Which honestly is good. I mean, we don't want to. Well, I don't want to actually crash into it and die in a horrible fireball. I'm personally not looking forward to crashing into said uh, moon. I'd like to land on said moon. Do we have any idea how fast this thing slows down? By the way. Mm. Yeah, in vacuum, probably quite fast. Okay. Like if you, I just wasn't actually sure. Like if you're not strapped down, you probably fly through a damn windshield. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna lie, the, the blue lights look sick in space. Yeah, I'm gonna say that, um, this that, that's, 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 that's the permanent color scheme. I'm, de I'm decreeing it. You know, I'll say this, Rob. Yeah? Good job on the ship. Lies and slander. No, I'm serious, though. This is a, a, a very fair build for a for a ship that we literally just kind of half acidly threw together without a design plan it did come out pretty good it, good job everybody it's going to be mildly problematic when we try to land without landing gear but eh, what's the worst that can happen all right guys it's chris and we're back and we've escaped what? that freaking planet janky jankiness. John's still with us, but he just he just lagged out. He's coming back. Hi friends. So I am a ghost. We're gonna land on this moon and uh, see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're kinda flying at it at a ridiculous speed and it should be insane. So but that's about all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this season of Space Engineers, a cartridge blast gamer style. We uh, had a bit of bumps and falls, but we managed to get stuff rolling. I feel like as we get away from these planets, we'll actually do a lot better and um, feel good about what's happening here. But um, with that being said, guys, it's been real. So without further ado, I will say farewell to you. And uh, thanks for joining us. Godspeed, gentlemen. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>